Hi, my name is Roger. I'm going to show you how to uh, rebuild a standard C4 type clearamizer used for uh, personal vaping. This unit has been rebuilt a couple times, but it'll be good for demonstration. Uh, you don't need many tools, pair of pliers, small screwdriver, paper clip, an Ego battery or a connector. So first thing we want to do is we're going to take this retaining ring off with the pliers. We'll grasp it and we wiggle it off very gently. Set that retaining ring aside. Now take your Ego battery or in this case I'm using a connector thread it into the center post assembly and slowly wiggle that center post assembly out there we go set your uh, casing and, and mouthpiece aside you can now take the battery off of the uh, center post assembly now you'll see the wick assembly in the center post remove the uh, top cap may look slightly different, may not have the metal piece, may just be a top plastic cap. Just remove it, set it aside. Now your wick may be all gunked up and um, dirty. Grab it, pull it out slowly, and you can see the coil assembly on there. At this point, I'm going to reuse the materials that are in here just to demonstrate. I'm going to unwrap this coil slightly, remove the wick from it. I'm straighten out the coil assembly. I have a straight piece of wire now. This is, I don't know what gauge canthal this is, but it's canthal wire. If you're starting with fresh wire, you might want to use 32 gauge canthal, 34 gauge. It comes in various gauges depending on what type of resistance you're trying to achieve. I'm not going to delve into it that deeply. Um, in this instance, you're just cleaning one out, rebuilding it, and, and refreshing it or, re or making it new again. So I have my wire. I have the old wick. You probably want to replace the wick with either new silica, wick material, or in this case, I'm just using cotton yarn, untreated, 3 millimeter cotton yarn. I'll take my straightened out paper clip and my wick material, I'll lay, lay them side by side and grasp it at about the midpoint. I'll take my wire at this point, it's a little hard to grasp, uh, and what you want to do is you're going to have two small legs on this wire once you finish. So grasp the wire along with your wick material and paper clip and start wrapping. Wrap as many turns as you can. Probably no more than five or six at the most if you're if you're you're starting with fresh wire. You may you may get by with as little as three or four wraps. Wrap the uh, wire around the wick material Try to be as neat as possible, but uh, you've got a little latitude here where you can, once you get finished, you can kind of scrunch the coil up a little bit, which is what I'll do. Okay, I've got about three wraps, four wraps there. Pull it off your paper clip assembly. Straighten out your wick a little bit and probably want to scrunch your coil up just a little bit. It has to fit back in that center post assembly. You want two legs sticking off of this um, coil assembly. I have a longer one and a short one. You can have them both the same length. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but they need to be probably an eighth of an inch or so. Now you're going to take your center post assembly. There's some material in here you have to um, receipt. Take your small screwdriver. Push the very center post out. 
clean it if it's dirty. Take your straightened paper clip now, and there's a little center, little rubber center insulator in here that you can push out with your paper clip. This is what the coil is going to rest on. So take your coil and make sure you clean that off too if it's all gunked up. Um, now I'm going to take my coil assembly. This is a real rough coil, but I'm doing this quickly just for concept so that you'll know what to do. Take one leg of your coil, and in this case I'm going to use the short leg, and I'm going to put it down the center of this insulator post or insulator material, and the other leg on the outside of it. Now, get your large center post. You're going to push this back in here. You want the outside leg on the outside of the insulator to be touching the center post. Work that back in and push it down into the groove like that. Take your center post assembly, slide it in there, push it in, and you want it to be flush, so just push it down on your tabletop surface. Now we got it flush. At this point, you probably should uh, test the resistance if you have an ohmmeter. I'm going to use an EVIC that has built-in ohm or uh, yeah ohm capability of reading so I'll screw this center post on there and it tells me is it three ohms that's that's good I think it was originally uh, 2.5 take that back off now you're ready to put your uh, top cap back onto the center post push it down flush take your wick material and sort of spin it a little bit and now spin the whole thing back into the uh, center of the um, clear miser case take your battery connector thread it in there sort of this is this will give you the ability to push it in and seat it all the way seat that in there until it won't go any further and it's flush with that mouthpiece. You want that top cap to be flush with the mouthpiece. Take your battery assembly off. Now you can put your retaining ring back on. Uh, make sure that you have the air vents if there are any at the bottom. Push that back on. Push it on firmly. Push it back down on your tabletop until it's seated all right it's back together i'm going to put it back on the evic just to test the uh resistance one more time and it shows three ohms good that'll work thanks